Hello, Pouring With Heart family. We are here with the one and only Casey Leventhal, recently promoted to the role of acquisitions manager. But Casey, I wanted to get a little bit deeper and have you explain your roles. What does the role of acquisitions manager entail? At the end of the day, acquisitions is all about uh, finding opportunities. And that is sort of the bread and butter of, uh, of what I do. I go out and I look for two kinds of bars. Ones that are already operating, that already exemplify the values that we at Pouring With Heart value. And we approach those places and if those places are willing to move on to their next venture or work with us so that you know we sort of acquire them, then great. If not, it's, some, it's a contact that for down the road. Those are generally places that are struggling or places that are completely empty. What I do is I look at the neighborhood, see if it's ripe for, you know, if, if, if there's a bar that's needed in the neighborhood or um, even work with other folks in the growth department with Alice in design and Chris Tomhave in construction and say, hey, you know, take a look at this. Is this something that we can turn into a bar? What else is in the neighborhood that isn't being served right now? And those are sort of the two different pathways that we go through. The first one is called turnkey, and the second one is called renovation or construction. How does your position interact with the other departments? Pretty much in, in one way or another, I interact with every other department. So I'll go in terms, of the, in terms of the flywheel. We start off with people support. Obviously, the big one is the number of careers, especially with turnkeys. With a turnkey, we look at how many employees does the place already have? And how many employees would we need? Next one would be development or growth, which is the department I'm in, but I'm going further down the line from if, if I were to get the bar into an LOI phase. Sona would take it over and do all the legal stuff. Alice would design it if it needs a, if it needs a new concept or a new brand. And then Chris and Juliana would build it. Moving along to ops, I reach out to those, to those folks in those various markets and say, hey, listen, I have a place that may need some love, but let's say that we get it and that we turn it into something that you think you can, could use. Would you have fun operating this place? Do you think that we could get a staff to operate this place? Because I always find that if you're having fun operating it, it's a lot easier to make it a success. And if, I'm, if I just go about grabbing bars willy-nilly and then pass off a mess to ops, well, that's not really me doing a thorough job. When it comes to finance, we look at demographic data of the neighborhood as well as financial performance of that space in the past to see if, on, at the end of the day, you need finance in order to continue operating the bar, employing people, paying them. So with each one of those departments, I'm, I have to keep all of them sort of apprised of what's going on. What is your dream for this role? A dream for this role would probably be, in the immediate sense, just getting a good amount of bars where people are saying just like, hey, we're, we're moving on the right track and we're getting, we're getting things done. I forgot to ask you this in the previous video, which was your promotion video. So you just moved from being acquisitions specialist mm -hmm. to acquisitions manager. manager. What do you think it is about your personal character that made you a good pick for this promotion? Well, I was the only person who was acquisition specialist before, so moving up to acquisition manager, I think, made sense. But along with that, I have, in a previous life, I was a, I was, an, I actually worked in contract law, doing mergers and acquisitions for for companies. So, you know, not specifically in hospitality, but in the corporate and securities world. But I have a background in drafting up contracts, writing in legalese. So, so I think, you know, on top of having worked in a Porn With Heart bar and understanding the mission and the, and the values of the company, combined with that sort of more boring, less sexy stuff of drafting up a lease or a letter of intent and understanding financing and all that kind of stuff are things that I never thought I'd be that I'd use again, but I'm really happy that I do because I didn't enjoy working as a lawyer before. 
but they are skills that I have. And now I can actually use them and enjoy them. Just at our last all day, it was really funny. It was almost like I was going back to law school and drawing different kinds of acquisition structures and explaining it to the rest of the team, which I thought was actually useful because we don't get taught this kind of stuff in high school. And I think just the basic, I, like, just the question of what is a contract, we're not taught that in high school. And it only comes around if you go to law school. I think it's things that we all need to know. I'm just lucky enough that I have that education and I can use it because as I was ringing the bar, I wasn't using it at all. That's why, that, that's why I think it's, it's a good fit. How do you think your role enriches the Porn With Heart community? Well, it enriches the community, obviously, by bringing new opportunities for us to expand the, the Porn With Heart mission of bringing nobility and legitimacy to this industry. Because a lot of bar proprietors will say, you're just gonna come in, gut the whole place, hire your own staff and operate it differently. What puts a lot of these people at ease is saying, I came from working in the bar in this company and the people that run this company started, our CEO started off as a bar back at Seven Grand. I started off as a manager at Bar Jackalope. We're all about promoting from within and giving people in the bar world a true legitimate career you know, I, the way I always put it is, ever since Prohibition, being a bartender has been looked at as a placeholder for a career. It's something that I will do until I find what I really want to do, rather than it being the career itself. And that's what we believe, that's I think at the core of Pouring With Heart, which is that we believe that working in a bar and this industry can be the career itself. And that's what a lot of bar owners, landlords, all, resonate with because I believe that they feel the same way and they know you know on top of whether they're getting fair value for their for their brand and their bar the second most if not the first is what's going to happen to my staff and the biggest reassurance that we've gotten as we've gone through several negotiations now is wow I did not know that that my staff is going to be like that your number one priority is taking care of my staff and not only that but giving them opportunities to grow into leadership positions where they can have a 401k, you know, health benefits if they work certain, you know, the full-time hours. That kind of stuff is not really available to sort of mom and pop operations. It's too costly. And I think that is what I try to do is bring that kind of stability structure to somebody's somebody who works in the bar industry and make that possible. That's you know, that's sort of the, that's the end all goal of trying to bring that, those porn with heart values. Yeah. And it's risky, you know, the, we, we're not insured of success. We have to go in day by day. Our bar backs and security hosts mm -hmm. are the ones who are making all of this happen. They're the exactly. ones giving you the ability to acquire new bars and grow the company. And it's, it, it starts off on the street and we, we can never take that for granted. Mm -hmm. well, you know, I can't do what I'm doing without me coming, you know, I work right upstairs, so I come back into Jackalope and Seven Grand often. It's great to sort of feel, feel that community and, and connection where, you know, I insist, you know, I insist on paying and they say, all right, but you're just paying this once and then you're not paying again for another month or something like that, you know, and all that kind of stuff. It's like, that's... That's nice. That's what makes you feel at home. As long as they ring in those comps. As long as they ring in the comps, <laughs> it's all accounted for. That's right. Yeah. Well, cheers, Casey. Thank you for taking the time to better explain your role. Let's Thank do you this. Fun. Let's do it. For each other.